Hi guys, this is Shivadi. Welcome to the tutorial on Liquibase. In this session, we are going to learn in detail about the chain set. Let's go ahead and start. As we know that in order to do the SQL migration, the basic um, building block is the database change log. In the database change log, basically we are going to provide the chain set. So say chain set is a tag which basically use it to group the uh, database related operations. Now here in order to create a chain set, the ID is the mandatory and ID you can provide any um, name. It is not necessarily like a unique ID or integer. So any name which basically should have the unique and also other who actually creating this uh, chain set. Here let us provide Shiva and then you need to provide inside this chain set. Basically, we have to do the XML mapping in order to create a database uh, related um, queries. Now here, first let us go ahead and create one table. Now create table. Let us say EMP. And table must have at least one column. Column name EMP ID type of int and similarly let us create one more column emp name which is type of var char of 100 now this is the simple uh, sense set which basically do the um, what uh, liquibase is going to do is first it will read the chain set and then identify the XML configuration. It will convert this XML into a SQL query. And then finally, it is going to execute against the database. Now, while executing the database, what happens is every time when it reads the chain set, it first identifies the ID, other, and the path for this particular database change log file. So these three are going to be the unique combination for the each chain set. Once it identifies each chain set, first it will create this SQL query out of this chain set, run the execute, run, uh, execute against the database, and it is going to insert a one row in the database change log with this particular ID, other, and the path for this database change log, which basically represents a unique combination, and also it computes the one uh, one uh, key called as a MD5 sum which basically uh, gives you that whenever you run this um, chain set multiple times, before it execute against the uh, database, first again it is going to calculate the MD5 checksum and see whether whatever it is available in the database is same or not. If it is same, then it will not going to execute this um, chain set against the database. Let us go ahead and see this um, uh, transformation practically. So currently what is happening is in this um, uh, liquibase schema, I already have the database change log, database uh, change log, log table and EMP. First, let us drop the existing schema, uh, not uh, existing tables related to the liquibase and then we will run the transformation. So MVN liquibase and say drop all. This is the command which is going to drop all the existing tables available for that particular schema. So it dropped all the existing tables, um, DEPT, EMP and the database change log and the database change log log table. Now what we are going to do is let us run the liquibase migration, liquibase update. Now what happens internally is first it will read the database change log and first it will read this chain set and then from the XML to the SQL query it will prepare and then it will first check whether this particular chain set is already available in the database change log table or not. If it is available, then it will check for the whether MD5, whatever the um, checksum it is calculated, whether it is there or not. If it is same, then it will not execute. If it is, if there is no record is available with this ID, author and the uh, path to this um, master dash change log dot XML file, then it is going to insert a record into the database change log. Now let us go ahead and see the sample content here because already transformation has completed successfully. 
Now let us go ahead and see the sample content. If I go and see in the sample content, you can see here ID, change one and other and also you will have the file name which basically the uh, complete path of the master da master dash change log dot xml file and also it computes the md5 checksum now this is the one advantage of the checksum is next time onwards when it is looking for when it is trying to execute compare with the checksum so that it will maintain the consistency now let me go ahead and run this uh, uh, run this migration once again then this time it will not um, insert the row into the database change log because it already knows that there is a record available for the id other file with this um, particular combination okay so it didn't do any insertion this time because it already knows that there is a record is available with this particular uh, for this uh, chain set now let us go ahead and create one more chain set here now here change to shiva and this is dept and let us change this one to the dept id and dept name now let us go ahead and run this command once again see what happens so we know that the first first chain set is already available in the uh, database but second chain set is not available now this time what it have uh, what it will do is it will just uh, ignore this first chain set and then it will run this chain set against the database let's go ahead and see what happens now this time if you see here change underscore to shiva and with this um, file name it has inserted one more record now if i go to the database and see what happens is this time you will see two records uh, refresh tables and go to the data and sample content here this time it has the two records and here as this is the unique id then you can see change to okay so this is how basically the um, liquid base is trying to execute each change set and it will insert the data into the database change log in order to keep the history of it now change it will have some more other uh, additional attributes which may help you for our purpose now for example if you want to make sure that whatever the change set you are going to run this particular um, uh, change set should be applicable for the only specific uh, databases then you can provide dbms attribute now whenever you run this particular database change log against the other than derby database then automatically it will throw the uh, it, it basically gives the validation error, uh, validation failed so that it, the change set will not execute against this particular uh, particular database so you can provide the valid uh, dbms where this change set is applicable and similarly if you have any requirement where the change set is going to be executed each and every time for example you are going to create a one procedure so if you want to keep adding the each time there is a change if you want to add to this change set then this um, database change log file will become bigger and bigger so that is the reason if you want to have a requirement where you want to run the chain set every time then you have an additional attribute in the chain set that is id let us consider change underscore four and other is shiva and here we have one attribute called as a run always true so run always true by default it is false so if you want to run every time then you can make this as a run always as a true and here you can provide whatever the operation you want to perform you can do here then whenever it is executing this particular chain set then it always going to execute irrespective of whether there is any change here or not and also some more other attributes are there that is if you see here um, there is a something called as a run in transaction true 
by default it is actually a true that means in the same set ideally you need to provide an atomic transaction that means whether you want to create one table or you want to insert some data or whatever the operation you want to perform inside the chain set should be the atomic transaction if you don't say atomic transaction then what happens is if you say this is a false then you can provide multiple um, database operations inside that particular chain set then by mistake if something uh, by some validation fail happens then some of the things you may not able to roll back properly as the result you may end up with the data inconsistency that is the reason make sure that this is run in transaction is always true and also if you want to provide uh, if you want to run the particular uh, chain set every time they can mark them as a run always true now let us go ahead and run this um, uh, liquid base migration once again and see what happens So this time it executed the uh, change log uh, change underscore four because um, this is the new set we have introduced and see run once again and see what happens. So as I as I mentioned here run always true that is the reason every time it is going to be inserted or the updated with the existing uh, table with the database change log. So first time it will be inserted, second time onwards it will have, it will always execute and uh, it will update the existing database change log with the whatever the details it has. Okay, so this is the another um, way how you can run the transformation every time. And uh, change uh, change set is already also have the um, certain preconditions. That is, if you want to provide some preconditions. Now here, let us say preconditions. Now here, you can say rows count and expected row schema name not required really, but you can specify the expected rows equal to zero and table name is EMP. Now what happens is if this particular transform, uh, if the particular um, precondition is satisfied, then only the next uh, SQL uh, commands, whatever the configuration we have provided, it is going to execute. Otherwise, it will be, it will not execute anything here. Now one more point here is that as since it is already uh, this since it is already executed against the database and after that we are modifying this definition. Now what happens is now this time it is going to uh, Liquibase is going to verify the particular chain set with this combination database uh, is already existed and it will try to calculate the checksum. So as we modified this particular chain set definition the MD5 checksum is going to be different. That is the reason when you run this time with this transformation, it is going to provide you the uh, error or the validation error saying like MD5, whatever it is uh, available in the database is different from the whatever currently it is calculated. So Liquibase does not really know what type of change it happened uh, with respect to the whatever it is available in the database versus what is a new change. Hence, we need to make sure that whenever there is a existing chain set or the existing chain set definition is provide, uh, modified, then you need to go to this uh, particular database and identify the row corresponding to this database change log and you need to mark them with this MD5 as a null. So here, if you see the MD5 sum column, this you need to make it as a null so that next time when it is uh, when it liquibase is trying to execute it it will calculate the proper md5 and then it is going to insert here that is the uh, one thing you need to make sure whenever you change the existing uh, definition for this change set which is already available against the database now let us go ahead and uh, um, run this run, uh, run this um, migration once again this time it is going to fail uh, it is going to 
have the validation with the md5 where this is going md5 checksum and it is going to fail there If you see here, this time it didn't fail because we didn't change the definition of the um, definition of the existing uh, existing scheme uh, existing definition basically table creation. For example, if I go and add one more column here, location, and then if you run this command, this is going to fail because we just added the precondition. So precondition is already taken care but uh, we, if we provide this uh, uh, change for the definition of this particular table then it will identify this is a different table and it is going to fail against the database now if you see here now it has provided it it, it has uh, it it is failed because validation failed because one change set checksum and if you see here the checksum was previously this one but it is expecting the new one okay so whenever there is a uh, change happens to the particular definition whatever we it is already available against the database then we need to make sure that you need to update the um, md5 algorithm column md5 uh, uh, sum column to the null so that it will consider this is a new transformation and then it will execute against the database and finally um, you have one more um, one more uh, attribute that is on failure uh, fail on error now for example if you want to provide any custom uh, message to the fail on error and also all, uh, on validation fail if you it want to stop or not then you can you can you can see that uh, on validation fail if you provide then automatically it will stop the executing the particular chain set it will come out and similarly run on change so basically this attribute tells that if there is any change to the particular um, change set if you want to execute then you can say run on change so these are the um, important points with respect to the change set whenever you create the change set for your database operations hope you clear with the um, concept of change set and thanks for watching have a nice day